I've been out, my friends, but I'm back. And for Robert Downey Jr., it's time to make damn money. Ho, ho, ho. Looks like we have some big announcements. How did this happen? Why did this happen? The desperation is thick with this one. That's right. I am the man you may know as he from our reviews will we'll kill you. And I am here to talk a little bit about Iron Man's return to the MCU. That's right, Marvel. Robert Downey Jr. He's not the only one who's coming back. You better believe it. They're tired of not making billion dollar movies, my friends. You have no idea how much the Marvels cost them. <laughs> Marvel needs to write the ship and they are ready to pay Robert Downey Jr. his toll. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot of money. That's right. They signed him for two movies. Let's get in the story. Let's talk about it. Let's get a reaction. That's right. Robert Downey Jr. set Marvel return as Doctor Doom in Avengers Doomsday. 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 Have I got some reactions for you, too? I think it's pretty funny what this is all about. This is from Variety. Clearly, the uh, Comic-Con was... San Diego Comic-Con was taken over by Marvel News. Does anybody care? Can they salvage this? It's hard to say. But it's going to be directed by Joe and Anthony Russo. If you recall those two directors from uh, other films, such as The Avengers... Um, well, they did Winter Soldier. They did Avengers Infinity War. They did Avengers Endgame. You know who they are. That's right. They're bringing those guys back after they had not so much success over at Netflix with their movies. Or at least one movie. But they're introducing Robert Downey Jr. would be back as Iron Man. No, he's Victor Von Doom. Will he just wear a mask the entire time? Very confusing. Let's take a look at the reaction from... Comic-Con, pardon me for the audio, but it does say enough with the diversity. We need the monies. This is from Robert Downey Jr. himself. New mask. Same task. Yeah, he says, he goes on to say, <laughs> to say uh, he likes to play complicated characters. Very interesting, right? Right, folks? Is this is this what we sign up for? Like I said, desperate. And I love Robert Downey Jr. He created 10 years of of amazingness from 20, 2008 to 2018. We had about 11 years of 10 films of amazing Marvel Studio stuff. And uh, it, it was all connected. Now it's just we don't care. We need money. We need the money. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, if you know anything about Robert Downey Jr.'s back-end deal on the end of Infinity War and Endgame, I mean, he made bazingles. <laughs> he made all the monies. He made the back-end on that. But let's look at some reactions, and I'll give you my own. Fans are confused. This is from Normie Central, and then I have the most Normie reaction you're ever going to see. Fans are confused about about Robert Downey Jr. His return to Marvel, this time as a villain, years after his last appearance as Tony Stark. Downey is set to return to the MCU as Doctor Doom. And I just want to point this out, too. They they supposedly, this could be wrong, but they gave, they gave the Fantastic Four first steps. <laughs> Why don't they call it first steps? Why would I watch that movie? I don't understand. Ah, so crazy. So crazy. So he's going to be in Avengers Doom Day and Avengers Secret Wars. Very interesting. But fans are like, why? Why do we want to do that? Part of me... Yeah, yeah, makes me think that he's going to just be Doctor Doom wearing the mask all the time. I mean, maybe? That is so hard to say. I would, I would, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to tell. This is strictly done for fan service. This is to save the MCU because the MCU is, is not doing very well 
right now. If, if you haven't realized that, which I'm sure you haven't because you were thinking there was a fourth Thor movie and Christian Bale starred in it. It was called Love and Thunder. That never happened. Did it? You mean Captain Marvel had a movie with some girl and some other girl that I've never heard of before and that actually happened? No, you would be wrong. <laughs> if you get mad, they got Robert Downey Jr. to play Dr. Mo uh, Dr. Doom. Just lucky you didn't ask him to replace Jonathan Majors. <laughs> wow. Rude, people. Rude. And then the most normie reaction of all reactions. I think this one might be my favorite. Gwyneth Paltrow reacted. Because <laughs> she doesn't know any... She barely even knows... I'm pretty sure there's an interview with her where she she doesn't know that she was actually in an Avengers movie with Spider-Man. She's like, Spider-Man? I don't remember that. And and that's when, um, not Tobey Maguire, the kid was like, yeah, I was totally in a movie with Greta Paltrow. She's like, I was? When would that happen? He's like, yeah, we were in like a Spider-Man Avengers movie. She's like, we were? How is that even possible, Tom Holland, that young fool? <laughs> she doesn't remember who Tom Holland is. How perfect is Gwyneth Paltrow? Uh, she reacts to the Iron Man co-star <laughs> co Robert Downey Jr.'s shocking Marvel return. I don't get it. Are you a baddie now? <laughs> of course. She has no idea. She doesn't even know anything. All she sees is that there's a mask and is like, what? And there's no way they're bringing her back. <laughs> oh, they've all oh, the Russo brothers said we've always said green is your color. I genuinely believe that she doesn't actually know. They were like, "Can you just write this?" And she's like, "Okay." Right. Uh so my own personal thoughts about this besides absolute desperation, I I don't think it will be as satisfying. Because you're not going to get as much buildup as we did from before. And to see him show up in some sort of multiverse fashion where he's like a twisted version of Tony Stark who decides to call himself Victor Von Doom or something like that where he opposes the Fantastic Four just seems kind of silly. I don't really get it and then for people to watch him lose and i know he's a great actor and i know he likes he wants to do this like meaty role but i mean clearly they already had all the marketing ready for this this was not i mean it was a rash de decision but i don't think it was a foolish one on some level because you know he you're used to him with the mask and all that and the, the heads up i don't know we'll see i'm not a huge fan of this I don't get it, but you know they got to make money. They've been losing money. This is this is Kevin Feige pulling out literally every stop and being like, "Oh my god, I'm going to lose my job if I don't fix this." So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you excited to see Robert Downey Jr. in this role? Are you terrified to see him in this role? Do you think he's even going to do a good job? Is he going to be more like Doctor Doolittle than Doctor Doom? You let me know because I'm genuinely curious. In the meantime, catch our audio podcast. You can catch that on iTunes. You can also catch the live stream here on YouTube. You can catch us on Rumble. All those great places and more. Thank you so much for listening. I do appreciate it. It's so much fun being here with you guys. Genuinely. I am back in the saddle. I know it's been the last time you saw me was with Seagulls. And that gets a little crazy. But thank you. But we will uh, we'll see you on the next one. Love all y'all. But I'm on to the next one.